Hey everybody, it's Gabriel. I did a review of my truck up here. You guys can go back and watch it and I cover everything. But on this video, I'm gonna cover some of these hidden features that I didn't even know about. And thanks to you guys, you helped me discover some of those. So we're gonna cover it right now. Okay, hey, it's a little bit sunny today and it's super windy. So if you guys can forgive that, let's get right to the features. The first one I wanna show you is from the key fob. Let's just say it's 100 degrees out, right? And you just wanna cool your truck down. I love this, right? It's locked, right? Well, first, <laughs> if you saw that, as soon as you hit lock, there's a setting on the inside in the vehicle settings that auto folds the mirrors. That's a big feature. So rather than going into that at length, you just saw that feature. But the second one is this. You hit the unlock, watch this, twice, and I hold it. Look at that. Opens up everything. Now it does not open up the, uh, the what does it open up? It does not open up the sunroof, does it? No, it doesn't open up the sunroof or the back slider, but what it does is it drops that temperature like crazy. So, I mean, if it's 100 and something degrees in the car, you're going to drop it like that because it takes a long time for your AC to do that. So that's feature number one and two. Okay, here's another feature. I like this. So let's say you're going to just, you're getting in the car, right? The running boards are down. You can hold your foot on it if you want to wash them and shut the door. It'll kind of prompt you to pull it back up again. I just felt it. But then if you just hold it there a second, guess what? Now you can wash it and you don't have to worry about uh, trying to get up behind it. Also, of course, when you get in the car, you're back in it and you close, it'll go back up again like that. So, super easy feature. All right, another feature, obvious to many, but not everybody knows this. I love the back storage. Now, of course, on the Ram, you've got it in the floorboards. Show them that side. See, really nice, keep your valuables in there. Just another great, easy feature with this Denali Ultimate. Now, two quick features here. One of them, when you start the truck, right? And I want to put it in reverse. I can't because if you look right here at the screen, it says buckle seat belt to shift. Now, there's a setting in here that you can uh, undo that. I just have it there because I've got two young drivers and myself and my wife in. So now, if you look, of course, I have low fuel, but if you look now, now I can put it in reverse. It wouldn't allow it before. So, but that leads me to this next feature. All right. So back up a little bit. So that was one thing. So you can again undo that buckle seat belt to reverse in your settings. So seat belts on. You're gonna drive. I love this. I can reverse. Oh man, I love the tilt mirrors. That makes all the difference in the world. It gets it right to where the wheels are at the curb. And with this bottom mirror, you see the curb so clearly. Um, I, as I said before in the full review, this thing is a breeze to park and to go in reverse and really maneuver anywhere. A lot of people think it's so big it's not easy. It's actually very easy because all the cameras and, of course, the big mirrors. And then, of course, you've got this one, which is another feature. It's the camera that can be regular mirror or you flip it up for camera. So, again, very easy truck to drive and maneuver, but I love that feature right there with those tilting mirrors. So let's say you left your keys in the car. I left them in the center, you walk away, leave them at home. You don't even know where they are, right? You're hunting for your keys. You come back out, watch this. Oh, look what it says on the dash. Left keys in vehicle. Now they could be lost under the seat or between the seats. And then, okay, so they're still in there, right in the center. Now watch this. You can't find them. You think, okay, I looked in the car. I can't find them. All right, you come back to your vehicle again. It still says left key in vehicle. So it knows for sure that it's in there. That's a great feature if you're, you know, have a tendency to sometimes lose your keys. Now I'm going to take them out. Got them. All right. Now when you come back, no such thing. All right, another feature I love is these icons. I did not realize you can actually remove them from the side. So not only can you organize these, right, to different screens, but you can also eliminate these and then pick the ones you want. So for me, I always want the camera. I always want Apple, oh, do this again, Apple CarPlay, and usually my settings. And then I have the fan and then home. You cannot get rid of home. How handy. So if your nav system's on, everything's going, you've got your main buttons there. And because for me, as I'm driving and you're doing whatever, or I'm at the house, I always, I always look around and I hit the camera and that way I can see if there's kiddos around me, what's behind me, etc. And I love the 360 camera feature as well. Really incredible. 
All right, now here's a feature I don't like, and you can change it, okay? So how many of you know modern vehicles have chimes? They all have their own chime system. Watch this. I close the door, I start the car up. Insane. Now, you can lower that chime. How about lower it all the way? But guess what? GMC won't let you take it all the way down. I would get rid of it, just barely. But some chimes are agitating, so make sure it's not up here, or even in the middle is too much. So if we do the low button, let's try that one. All right, we cut the car off, open it up, get back in, and... Ah, pleasant. Makes me like the vehicle. When it's loud, it's way too loud. Now, another feature I didn't know, I don't remember if I covered it in the full review or not, but the truck has heads-up display. It's super bright, super clear. I'm not going to try to show you. It's so sunny right now, and I don't want to try to put the camera here. But um, many people don't realize that they have it. There's a HUD switch, H-U-D, HUD, and you can adjust it um, up and down and brightness. The reason I'm mentioning this is many times when you buy a new truck, or buy this truck, whatever model it is that has a heads up, it's preset way down under the nose of the truck, under the horizon of the truck, and, and or if you're shorter, you're not, you're not seeing it. So just make sure you come in here, look at your heads up display, and rise it back up again so you can get it in view, because I can't tell you how many people didn't even realize they had it because it was tucked down underneath the uh, edge of the truck. All right, another feature that I covered a little bit on the full review and the one specific on the tailgate, but I think I forgot one more part of it. All right, you put your trailer ball in here, right? It's gonna stick out to here, even if you have a low, a low profile one. This truck has a feature where if you touch the two buttons, right, it opens up. Also, on the inside of the truck, right there above uh, in the center console, right above the tray, there's a button that can drop the tailgate. Now, that, is going to hit a trailer ball, hands down. But GMC was smart. All right, you ready? Let's see how we do this. So you touch both of them for, I think it's eight seconds. Let's keep watching. Holding them, holding them. One, two, three. See how it did the three? Now watch. It's solid. It's a solid one when you touch the bottom. When you touch both of them, it just drops like a normal feature. So you can't drop that down. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done, GMC. I like it. And the good part is to undo it. It's just as easy. To hold this. Watch the lights. And two, three. And now it's back to normal. So now when you do it, it releases the step again. That is a smart way to design it. Okay, another great feature. I covered it a little bit on the full review video, but it really needs to be mentioned again, is the cameras in this truck when it comes to... Uh, well, because a few years ago, when you would find cars that had camera features on them, they wouldn't work while you drove. They would, they would go for a couple seconds, and when you got to a certain speed, they cut off. Right. So here we are. Let's uh, let's look here. We're going 24 miles an hour. Here's camera. Okay, we're driving. This is the front of the nose. You can drive with your front camera if you wanted to, or your rear camera as long as you want to. I don't believe it even times out. I love that. As a matter of fact, even your side cameras, so you can see what's in front of you and what's behind you. I love that. There's even, of course, the nose, right? The trailer ball shows you right here at the back of the trailer. Um, literally, I mean, it's extremely accurate. And here's another one I love, and that is the bed. Many times when I'm on trips and I'll have stuff in here, and the whole family's riding around, I use this as just an extra backup because you have all of this peripheral vision to, to kind of see the highway as well as using this up here. So I love the camera mirror and I love this setting. So when I'm traveling, this is where I have it. 
Great features, love it, and the fact that you can do this while you're driving is just another... I don't know, I just love when people think like that, you know? You don't have to get some aftermarket programming that wipes, swipes out something and replaces it like, um, like so many of the vehicles you had to do for so long. All right, now this is not a secret feature, but it's a really nice feature. It's cold out, you auto start your truck, which you can do with the key fob or the app, really nice. And the signal of the key fob, I can be in the house, on the other side of the house, and I can double click it, um, or is it three times? If I, maybe it's three times. Um, and it'll read the signal and it'll be out in the driveway and start up. But when it does, it heats up the steering wheel very nicely and the seats and the inside of the truck are already preheated. So I do love that feature. Uh, again, how many times do you get in a cold truck and you just have to, by the time you get to your location, it finally starts warming up. This thing warms up really quick. So not a secret feature, but a great feature. And it does it in the summertime with the cooled seats, right? Ah, uh, yes. It'll even cool the car down. I believe it does. All right, these other features we had to do at night. It's not too dark, but dark enough for you guys to see it. First of all, let's look at the front lights when you touch the key fob and unlock it, okay? See the animation there? It's kind of nice. Those turn on, those turn on, and then the top ones turn on. And you have your fog lights. I like that. So it started off with the flashing, animation kicked in, then those lights kicked in, then the top and the sides, and then the fog lights came on. I like that. They did a good job with that one. Now I'll show you some more here in just a second. All right, now I'm going to get in the truck, put it in reverse, and hit the backup lights on. I think you're going to like that. Watch. So, let's get behind me there. Go back. Now if you look here, see these turned on. I love these. When you're backing up a driveway or coming up to your house or whatever you're doing, these things are incredibly bright. So remember, we have front spotlights and you have these rear ones as well. So go behind me. Notice when I got, put it back in the drive, those spotlights cut off. Okay, so when I was in reverse, okay, those lights came on and everything opened up, so it makes it nice and bright. As soon as you put it in drive, if you leave that button on, as soon as you put it in drive, those back spill lights go off, the side mirrors kick back in, and then you can just drive around like that, and then when you come up to a stop like this, right, I'm going to come up to a stop. Okay, put it in park, those spotlights kick back on. So it's just a feature you can leave on. So it's, if it's in park or if it's in reverse, those lights are on. When you're in drive, it turns them back off. I like that feature because it's just an added extra light that you need at night for all occasions. All right, here's another feature I like. These are considered the spotlights on the sides of the mirrors, okay? And the way you access that is there's a button right here. It looks like a downward facing lamp. I don't know if you can see it, but that is, you hold it, it turns it on. You hold it, it turns it off. Hold it on, hold it off. That's great. Now there's another set of lights on the back side, and then I want to show you all the lights, okay? If you come back over here, this one here, it says cargo lamps disabled or you can click it and do cargo lance enabled. Now come back here. What the cargo lights do is it turns on this top one in the back of the bed, okay? It turns on the ones on the inside of the bed here. Love that, right? So it's nice and bright. And Many of you may have thought this was a double camera or a way that it focused the camera, but it's not. There's your camera. This is your hitch light and your, you know, just the base of the ground here light. I love that that is a feature. I didn't know that was there, again, until I watched a video and I learned it. So that's your back lights. Now come back up here. We'll cut those off, right? You hold it. Cargo lamps disabled. Now look at 
look here again. Are they on? No. Now they are. Okay. So they're on. Now watch. Those are your spotlights. And it doesn't shine straight on a vehicle. It shines at an angle. So I'm assuming, you know, it's going to get, get that spread. But watch. Now when you unlock the, um, the key fob, all the animation kicks on. We start off. I love how smooth those are. Then your headlights, then the top lights come on, and then your fog lights. Now get a backup shot of that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. So guys, that's the 24 GMC Denali HD Ultimate. And again, check out that review I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I did. And thanks again. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Hope you liked it.